So you want to be a sloth, I see. An excellent choice, I'm sure. As a sloth, you'll enjoy a leisurely life. Two or three sharp, knifey fingers and be respected and adored by the humans of the internet. As a young sloth, you will spend almost all of your time clinging to your mother. You may ask yourself at what point you should let go. The answer is don't. She's the only thing keeping you in the tree until you learn how to climb by yourself. Which is why you'll need to practice climbing all over your mother first for several months. Until the day you're ready to climb alone, she'll be your own furry gondola chairlift, if gondola chairlifts moved roughly 240 times slower. Pop quiz. As a sloth, which of these noises will you mostly be making? <coughs> sloth! <coughs> sloth! Listen closely to the following clip for the correct answer, and try to replicate the sound with your own mouth. <coughs> Fortunately, sloths don't make sound very often, which is good because you sound ridiculous. <clears throat> your diet as a sloth will consist almost entirely of leaves. Specifically from Cecropia trees, which are fortunately extremely common in the forest you'll call home. You may find yourself lucky and enjoy the occasional fruit, veggie, or flower, but mostly it will be about 30 to 40 years straight of leaves for every meal. If in captivity, you may enjoy the occasional egg. But in the wild, these are not a common dietary staple because by the time you make your way over to where the egg is, it has already hatched and escaped. Sloth digestion is extremely slow, taking up to a month to complete, meaning that a significant portion of your body weight will be made up of leaves that you ate weeks ago. If you are literally full of sh**, then you are qualified to be a sloth. But when you do finish digesting, it's time to come down from the trees for a rare bout of defecation. Descending from a tree is a rare and special occasion. Some sloths don't even let go of the tree after dying. Now that's what I call dedication. Once on the forest floor to take your poop, you might decide to take a leisurely stroll along the ground. Notice the graceful way the sloth pulls himself along the ground on his belly. Did I say graceful? I meant disgraceful. Please stay in the trees. On the ground, you will be in danger. Plus, you will look ridiculous. Here's a riddle for you. Why did the sloth cross the road? Answer. He hasn't yet. If you're in no hurry for your commute to be over, then you are qualified to be a sloth. Sloths have terrible eyesight and terrible hearing. Finding your way around will mostly be a game of rubbing up against things. This concludes your lesson on how to be a sloth. Now it's time to see what you've learned. Hey! Hey! What did I just say? Get back in the tree! Sloth! <sighs> you know what? C+. That's way too many toes.